Hey beautiful people, it's Rakita on back with another video. So I had a few clients ask me about some 0% intro rate credit cards. So if you're looking to get some credit cards where it's a 0% intro rate, then I'm going to show you a few credit cards that you guys can sign up for. Now some of these credit cards is gonna require that you have you know, a decent credit score. I mean, not a 500 credit score to get these credit cards. But um, if you guys have a decent credit score, you should be able to get approved for these credit cards. Now, the first company I want to talk to you guys about is Capital One. I know I tell you guys about a lot of different credit cards you can get with Capital One, but um, they have different credit cards from 0% intro credit cards all the way down to credit cards where they're secure credit cards. So you guys can get the Venture One credit card, which is um, a 0% intro rate, the Saver One credit card. They also have the Spark Business. So if you have a business, you can get the 0% APR for 12 months, you guys, on that credit card. And when you get these credit cards, don't forget, it's only going to be for a limited amount of time. So don't think that it's going to last forever is going to be only for a set amount of time and you're going to know what that time is when you apply for your credit card now the next credit card i want to talk to you guys about is the chase freedom credit card now with the chase freedom the well the chase freedom unlimited and then the chase freedom flex now with these credit cards you guys you're going to have the zero percent intro rate for 15 months and that's when you open up the account. But then after that, you got to figure out what your interest rate is going to be because it would differ. After your 0% intro rate, you're going to have a different rate going forward. So you want to find out what that rate is going to be. So for these credit cards, they're saying 14.99% all the way up to 23.74%. So make sure you guys definitely check that out. Figure out what your, um, after, what your rate is going to be afterwards so what's your apr going to be after you have that zero percent now these credit cards offer more things too such as capital one they do too but you can earn a two hundred dollars after you spend five hundred dollars in your first three months and then also you guys would get five percent cash back grocery store offer so you know every credit card is different but definitely weigh your odds and figure out which credit card you want to get some of these credit cards you can get the zero percent apr even with balance transfer so say if you max out some of your credit cards and you need to get another credit card so that you can put all of your other credit cards onto this new credit card you're you're going to stop paying that interest sometimes people pay 20 percent 24 percent on five thousand ten thousand dollars so they'll try to get a new credit card and when they apply for that new credit card they'll move that whole balance over that five ten thousand dollars they'll move that over to their new credit card and then they'll just make sure that they have that balance paid off within 15 months for example for this credit card because we have the zero percent apr for 15 months but um, they'll try to pay it off be before that time so that they're not paying any interest because sometimes you could be paying a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars in interest depending on what's that balance on that credit card. So you may want to do a balance transfer. Now, the next credit card I want to talk to you guys about is the Discover It credit card. Now, this credit card has cash back also. They have no annual fee, which is really great. And they have the 5% cash back on everyday purchases at different places each quarter. So they have like the rotating quarters, where it's like Amazon, stores, restaurants, gas stations. If you're going to use it to pay for PayPal, they have different stores, but you're going to automatically get 1% cash back on all of your purchases too. So that's good. And two, they have the 2x dollar for dollar on all, all of your cash back you earn by the end of the year, by the end of your first year. So that's really good. So they're going to double whatever you earn. So now they have different dates because you can see here, you like, okay, where am I going to get my cash back from? For those people that's kind of interested, you will see that they have different places like, hey, you're going to get 5% back at Amazon, Walmart, and Target from October to December. And then from January, you're going to get the grocery stores and fitness club and gym memberships. And it's going to be up to $1,500. And each quarter is different. So make sure you guys definitely check that out. Now, for them, they have the 0% intro APR for 14 months on purchases and balance transfer. There is a 3% intro balance transfer fee until... February 10th, 2020. Then after that, don't forget, you're going to have that 0% APR for 14 months. But after that, you guys are going to get charged the 11.99% to 22.99%. 
and it's going to be a 5% balance transfer fee for the future. But you are able to pick 25 over two, 25 different designs with them, and they have a lot of different features. So definitely, you guys, check them out if you are interested in getting their credit card. They have a lot of different things that they're giving out. So the next credit card I want to talk about is the City Double Cash. Now, the City Double Cash credit card, you guys, is going to be a MasterCard. Now, with this one, they have different things. So let's go ahead and see what they have going on. So you guys are not going to have an annual fee, which is really good. And you guys are going to get 0% intro APR transfer for 18 months. APR balance transfer for 18 months. So for those people, like I was telling you, if you have maxed out credit cards and with your maxed out credit cards, you're paying a lot of money in interest. It may be best for you just to go ahead and transfer the balance onto a new credit card so that you can start paying stop paying interest and you can just knock down the balance and anything that you were paying before I still want you to pay that towards the credit card and try to get it paid off while you still have that 0% APR rate because after that you're going to go to 13.99 and 23 between 13.99 and 23.99 and that still may not be ideal for you but go ahead while you have a credit card where you have the 0% APR don't rack up more debt <laughs> Go ahead and pay off that those old credit cards. Do a balance transfer, and that's going to last 18 months. That way you're not paying interest anymore. So whatever you're paying towards that credit card is actually going towards the balance and not just towards the interest. Like I said, some people be paying two, three, four hundred dollars $400 for interest, and they're wondering why their balance is not going down, but they're paying on a credit card, and that's because it's actually going towards their interest and not their actual payment. Now, if you guys um, are unable to get approved for these credit cards, you may just need to raise your credit score up. And I have my exclusive credit membership where you guys can sign up for just a dollar for the first seven days. It's a trial. You guys can sign up and you guys will get all the tips on how to increase your credit scores. You guys will get the letters to remove negative accounts from your credit reports also. But since you're a member, as soon as you sign up, you'll be a member of the exclusive credit membership. You guys will be able to have access to the free credit repair where we'll be able to send out letters for you on your behalf. So if this is something you're interested in, I definitely have the link down below. I have the link for the home buy-in if you guys are interested. And I have a few other links down below in the comments and in the description. Hey, so I have a bonus card that you guys can definitely go ahead and look into getting. So you're going to have the 0% intro for 18 billing cycle for purchases and for balance transfers made within the first 60 days of opening your account. So if you want to transfer your balance, make sure you guys do it within the first 60 days and you're going to have 18 billing cycles. So that means you don't have to worry about paying interest for that time, but understand that after that, you guys are going to get charged that interest and it's going to pile up if you keep a balance. So definitely, if you're looking for a credit card, look into this one, but I'll see you guys in the next video.